And the final example here, let's go ahead and, and, and take a look at this and answer this. Which of the following will have the greatest impact in shifting the aggregate demand curve to the right? So let's go ahead and take a, a look at, you know, which one will, will shift the aggregate demand curve to the right. Now, let's assume here, one thing I didn't, I didn't, I didn't specify that actually might change the question uh, a little bit, is that which of the following, um, let's, uh, let's assume that I put, which of the following fiscal policy options? And uh, I'll get to why that's important a little bit later. It's kind of a good thing that I admitted this. Which of the fiscal policy options will have the greatest impact in shifting your aggregate demand curve to the right? Well, let's let's look at which of the following will actually shift the demand curve, ag aggregate demand to the right. Uh, lowering taxes, will that shift the aggregate demand curve to the right? Absolutely, it will do that. So that's a possibility, so you don't want to cross it off. Increasing government spending will shift the aggregate demand curve to the left. This is not a good thing, so let's cross that out. Raising taxes. Again, that's going to uh, decrease uh, Y, so it's going to shift the aggregate demand curve to the left, so that is incorrect. Decreasing government spending. Um, you know, that's, um, that's actually... Okay, uh, let, me, let me revise this here. Decreasing government spending is going to shift the aggregate demand curve to the, uh, to the left here. Um, actually, increasing government spending, uh, actually, it will, um, it is going to, it is going to shift the aggregate demand curve to the right. So let me, let me revise that so there's, there's no confusion here. Okay, so it, it is a possible answer. So lowering taxes and increasing government spending. Um, what is lowering the federal funds rate going to do? That actually does shift the uh, aggregate demand curve to the right. Now, you, let's assume that this, again, this is a fiscal policy option. If that's the case, lowering taxes, that's a fiscal policy option. Increasing government spending, another fiscal policy option. Lowering the federal funds rate, it is not a fiscal policy option, it is a monetary policy option. Again, I haven't uh, gone through, if you're watching uh, this lecture straight through, I I've briefly touched on what monetary policy is. But monetary policy has to do with changing interest rates, of which the federal funds rate is the primary uh, rate. So changing interest rates and controlling the money supply. So this is not a fiscal policy option. So now we're left with lowering taxes and increasing government spending. And um, we're going to talk about uh, the, the fiscal multiplier uh, uh, in the next lecture, so this might this question might make a little bit more sense in the next lecture, but uh, I did mention this before. Increasing government spending is going to have a more direct impact uh, on the aggregate demand than will lowering taxes. Uh, it has to do with the fact that um, in the initial round, uh, you get this initial round, and um, what people do when you lower taxes, they're going to save some of that money, whereas if you increase government spending, then the GDP is increased by that round more. So this is going to have the greatest impact, uh, increasing government spending. Um, lowering taxes will definitely have help out. But again, from, from this uh, Keynesian point of view, increasing government spending will have the greatest impact in uh, boosting and stimulating the economy. Thank you for watching educator.com.